Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. Glad to have you here this Friday. Friday, July 7th, 2023. Thank you for tuning in. Now, here's something that I didn't know. These Carnival cruise ships, these big ocean liners and stuff that take people around the world on all these cruises and stuff, the amount of toxic fumes that they spew, I didn't know. I didn't know they used that much. It said a new study commissioned by the European Federation for Transport and Environment revealed that toxic emissions of sulfur oxides from 63 cruise ships belonging to the Carnival Corporation were 43% higher than all of the combustion engines and vehicles in all of Europe. So all the cars in all of Europe don't use as much toxic emissions it's these cruise ships. So if we're going to do without something, do without the cruise. <laughs> and have our gas cars. Because these cruise ships use 43% more than all of the cars put together. Well, that's unbelievable, but I guess it's true. That's what it's stating right here. 43% more sulfur oxides in all of Europe's cars in 2022, the study said. And you can see it spouting out of that exhaust pipe on that ship. Look at that huge plume of smoke. Now, as far as nuclear power plant in Zaporizhia nuclear power plant in Russia, and we all know that the Russians were worried there, they're saying... That the Ukraine was going to blow it up. And Ukraine was worried. And they were saying that Russia was going to blow it up. Well, tensions now are decreasing. Around the nuclear power plant. But this nuclear power plant has been a bone of contention. Ever since the beginning of the war. And it is the most dangerous aspect of this war. This nuclear power plant. So we're going to be keeping our eyes closely on it. But tensions are decreasing for now. Which is a darn good thing. My computer's not working here. Not responding or what? Come on. Nothing's responding. Well, that's just great. I'm in the middle of a show here, trying to work here. <laughs> Doggone it. Okay, it's working now. Russia has begun testing for this modified Toplovev Tu-160 bomber. This is one mean machine. And I guess they're planning a big aerial assault on Kiev with this bomber. Let's put it in motion. Ain't that some rig? Look at the size of it. It's a big boy for big, big toy for big boys, you know, and it, it's nuclear capable. Anyway, there's pl big plans on what they're planning on doing to Kiev with this TU-160M upgraded strategic bomber. Now wildfires, you know, across Canada, it says they're going to pose a danger for the rest of the summer, the government warns. And you know, you remember, it was just a few weeks ago, uh, no, it was about a month ago. And the smoke over New York City. Do you remember it blackened the sky over New York City? That was smoke from Canada. <laughs> that come right from us. <laughs> Just joking around. But it did. It come from it come from Canada. It blackened the skies of New York City. Smoke. Thick. Greasy smoke. Now, here's an article I was just looking at this morning. Can good cop Janet Yellen help fix U.S.-China relations? Well, she's heading over there. And, well, let, let's just see what happens. Maybe she will get along good with the Chinese. <laughs> she gets along so, so good with them. Maybe she can just stay there. 
<laughs> but, you know, I mean, anything to get relations back with China it might be a good thing. Because we, we don't want a third world war with China. We don't want China invading Taiwan. And then maybe it going nuclear. No, thank you. We don't want that. The people should tell everybody out there. Should say, we don't want a war with China. <laughs> and the Chinese tell, tell them, we don't want a war with USA. We don't all want to get blown up in a nuclear Armageddon with a nuclear winner or whatever else. No, thank you. We don't want that. We don't want that for us. We don't want that for our kids. Moving on. But, I mean, this is a good first step to get relations back on track. Maybe. Maybe it'll work. Maybe maybe somehow the Chinese will find her very accommodative or something, you know, and, and, and find her very easy to get along with, maybe. You might be surprised. Different people can do different things that other people can't do. So I think maybe it's a good idea. See what she can do to improve Chinese relations. Okay, moving on, taking a look at the silver price today. It's up 40 cents. So we're pretty much back up to where we were before we started. All this nonsense that's going on with, with, with the manipulation of the price. It's lasted for years. They use the paper to manipulate the real metal price. Because they can create as much paper silver as they want. And make it seem like the market's flooded with silver when there's really a, a silver inventory shortage going on. They can make it seem like, because it's all paper, that there's all kinds of silver. And in fact, there is quite a bit of silver out there. But it's being held in firm hands. People who are holding it are not going to sell at these low prices. Cryptocurrency today... Bitcoin price of 30000 Oh, we didn't do gold. Let's take a look at gold just for a second before we move on here. Gold's 1930 It's up $19.20. So gold's shooting up rather good today. Uh, looking at cryptocurrency, 30301 for Bitcoin. And Ethereum is at 1870 Taking a look at XRP, and it's at $0.46.7. Cents. Now, the Dow Jones is off by 67 points. Let me refresh the page. For right now, it's off 59 points at 33,862. Taking a look at crude oil. Crude oil is up quite a little bit. It was hovering around 70 bucks, and now it's 72.70. It's up uh, 90 cents. That's quite a large jump for one day in crude oil. Bonds and rates today... Uh, we're taking a look at uh, the long end. Uh, the uh, yield curve's up 3.9% at the U.S. 30 year. It's at 4.04. .04. And the U.S. 10 years at 4.04. .04. And it's down less than one, per, one basis point. Taking a look at the dollar index at 102.61. And the dollar's falling today. Thank you guys for listening to my show. Like and subscribe, and we're keeping our eye on the latest developments that's happening, not only in this war, but on the financial scene. What's, what's happening in the financial scene? I know it's moving kind of slow right now, but things are getting ready to break. The Fed's going to raise interest rates. I think they haven't learned their lesson, but no, 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 no. They're totally beyond the pale and they will they're they're going to break something very very soon something really big if you think the the uh, banking crisis that we just got through with was big this is nothing compared to what's going to break and it's going to break soon thank you guys for listening and we'll catch you guys in the next show and have a great afternoon bye bye